in the name of Allah, the most gracious, the most merciful, to whom we all have to turn back. Honorable listeners and respectable audience, you know that we have commenced a series of linguistics. In linguistics, we started the chapter that is known as pragmatics. Pragmatics is the use of language and context. I taught you about context in its types and diaxis in its types as well. Today, I'm going to teach you about reference. What is reference and some practical examples of it. But remember, here I'm going to tell you about reference and pragmatics. Listeners and ideas, reference is actually referring to an act in which the speaker or the writer they use linguistic forms in order to enable the readers or the listeners to identify some things. Remember that words they themselves do not refer to something but actually the readers and particularly the the speaker and the listeners they are referring to the word something remember that whenever we are talking about linguistic forms linguistic forms mean for example uh, they are included like they include common noun proper noun uh, similarly uh, we can also say they can be in singular form and uh, plural form and they can also be uh, like uh, in other forms it means they can be pronouns they can be even uh, different praises and they can be uh, independent and independent one for example I am writing an example Aslam sends a letter or you see Aslam sends a message this is the best example so Aslam sends a message here you see I am here talking about Aslam so Aslam is what? Aslam is the example of reference so here, when I say sends a message, who is sending the message? Aslam. So here, uh, I am talking about Aslam. And these words, they are actually referring to Aslam. So it can be proper noun. Here, Aslam is proper noun. It can be expressions, can be. I am talking about uh, a kind of general expression like linguistic forms linguistic forms can be proper nouns so here aslam is proper noun it can be common noun like you say a main that's why we can also say independent it can be independent pronoun so here a main is what instead of a main i can say he so now he is pronoun so reference is an act in which a speaker or the writer uses linguistic forms in order to enable the reader and the listeners to identify some things. And I also told you that words themselves, they do not refer to something, but actually the, the people, they refer to the words to something. So hope that you know about reference, that what is reference. In the upcoming lectures, we will uh, tell you about the different types of reference like uh, anaphoric reference, cataphoric reference and inference as well.